Please welcome to the stage, he's a dead good mate of mine. Start clapping, start cheering, and welcome to the stage, Jamie Silliphant! <laughs> What's happening, everybody? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> How are we? Are we good? good? Nice. I haven't been on the stage yet, this particular one, for like two months. And I'm shitting myself, can't lie. But I started to flex on everybody. Recently, I went to Saudi. Anyone went to Saudi? Who said yes? Me. <laughs> nice. It's cool, isn't it? The only problem is, yeah, you can't drink, which is pretty shit, because normally I drink quite a lot. I was there for like five days, and that's the longest time I've been sober for a good while. <laughs> and I was on the last day getting a shower, flight the next day, and I was becoming like self-aware. I was thinking to myself, what do people describe me as to other people? Because I do this, obviously I think that I'm funny. But if people describe me as he thinks he's funny, that's a real bad thing to take, isn't it? So I was like, wow, what the fuck? So I need to sort this out. So I landed and sobered, not sobered up, all the way around. Got pissed. <laughs> got pissed. Got like 24 bottles of Stella. And I was pissed. I didn't give a fuck what anyone else was thinking. So I was like, this is pretty normal. And I was thinking, what else can I do that's pretty normal after drinking Stella? I know. I'll beat me wife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have a wife yet. So that's okay. But my dad has a wife. <laughs> so I beat my mum up. <laughs> nice. Um, um, what else happened in Saudi was, like, in 2017, <laughs> there was a law passed that women are able to drive, which is quite good, isn't it? Women rights and shit. So like, it's crazy, yeah, women can drive over there. But over here. <laughs> I never said that, yeah. You all said that. <laughs> oh shit, let's see how long I've done. Okay, not long enough. Okay, so as you can tell, I am single. For some reason, women don't like me. I don't say any sexual jokes. Sexist jokes. Um, but I did try and change it recently, so I went out with this girl on a little drive and that. I drove, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked her up, yeah, and I was thinking, oh, this is the first time meeting her, and I was like, I need to like just be myself, because that's the best thing to do, and just being yourself and that. So I was being myself the entire time, and I thought it went pretty well. And so I came to the end of it when I was going to drop her off, and I was like plucking the courage up to like try and kiss her or something. Okay. Doing that anyway. And then before I was gonna go in for the kiss, she stopped me and broke me down and was like, you're very strange. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck, why? And you know like when you've been out drinking and you've been proper pissed and like you're out with another friend who wasn't drinking that much. And then they tell you everything that you've done in detail of what you're doing when you're pissed. And I was sat there listening to what she was saying. I was like, I'm not really that bad, am I? And there was one thing that stood out, which is quite bad now thinking about it, but she brought it up, she started it. So let's find out how bad it is together, shall we? Um, <laughs> so you know, girls, sometimes you say mad madness, like, um, would you still speak to me if I was like in a wheelchair or whatever? <laughs> she said that to me, and obviously I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But because I think I'm funny, as I said earlier, um, I was like, yeah, for sure. And she was like, oh, that's dead nice. And I thought, you know what, I'll try and make this funny. And I said to her, because <laughs> um, I'll be pushing you around all day and that. And you'll be dead grateful. And you're already a hip height. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm going to do is take it out in it, do you know what I mean? So she laughed, she laughed. And I thought, you know what? I think I'm a some sort of comedian. I'm gonna try and find a bigger laugh in this. And then I was like, yeah, for sure. And then if you're like, I'm laying you down to bed. This is where the, probably the weird bit started. So I'm laying down to bed, yeah. And I said, who's gonna stop me?
so you all laughed. So that's fine, isn't it, really? To be honest. So I'm not going to see her again, I don't think. That's pretty heavy, isn't it? Um, what else happened in Saudi? Hmm. I was on Tinder. Oh, wait, there, actually. <laughs> Might be a bit racist. Let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so this is my favorite joke of all time right now. <laughs> it's everyone's favorite joke. They love it as well. Right, so while I was in school, yeah, I learned a fact. Blow your mind, this. The, um, the crowbar was invented in, like, the 1400s. And I was thinking, yeah, where were these crows drinking before then? <laughs> That's pretty incredible, isn't it? That gets a round of applause. The light comes on, but that means it's got like 15 seconds or something. So let's see what I can squeeze in for the last 15 seconds. You know what? This isn't even a joke. This is just because they're my boys. So I don't know if you could tell through the entire set. I've been a bit sexist, a bit m m m Retarded is what I am. <laughs> Jesus Christ, who cares anyway? But my boys, yeah, have been freed. <laughs> I say freed, yeah, they're under house arrest. But anyway, Tate, no, no one's under the Tate. Tate brothers, no, no one like them. Oh, this dies every single time I try. <laughs> I don't care anyway, Tate's sick. Um, let's see what else I can say. If the light doesn't come on yet, so that means I've got some vital seconds to try and make people laugh. Hmm, I wanted to be an archaeologist one time, and I was digging around um, to find some dinosaurs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I um, found some bones and stuff, and I came across the uncle's bone. And I was confused. <laughs> I was like, wow, what's that doing there? Sure, that's not supposed to be in my mouth. <laughs> Turns out this guy wasn't even my real uncle. <laughs> That's heavy. Uh, right, I'm finished, yeah. But um, follow me on Instagram. Jamie underscore Silifant. Thank you. <laughs> Jamie Silifant, everyone!